Today we talk about the Paul George ones in the pure platinum colorway. Tune in! Hey guys, welcome to Casa Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. The sneaker you've all been waiting for, the Paul George ones in the pure platinum colorway. Man, oh man. I love these shoes, guys, and I've been waiting for these shoes to come out in the correct colorway ever since they first came out in the black colorway that everybody loved and adored. I like that one, but I had too many black sneakers, so I was waiting for a cool colorway to come out, and voila! a gray colorway also known as pure platinum with some gum bottoms. So I'm definitely not a hoop star but these particular Paul George sneakers have some you know curve appeal or some casual look that is attractive and could be worn with jeans or sweats or whatnot. You know even if I will be balling on the court you know I, I will not probably be on your team because I cannot shoot. I'm more like a uh, Bruce Bowen that can't shoot or a modern day Draymond that cannot shoot. So if you want someone that could D someone up, call me. I'll be on your team. But anyways, getting straight into the review, looking at the top of the sneaker, it is a gray or pure platinum as they call it colorway and it's predominantly made up of uh, mesh material and also it's made up of a suede material at the back portion of the sneaker. Also you'll notice that the Nike swooshes consist of a 3M like material that reflects when you shine some light on it during uh, dark hours. Looking at the midsole of the sneaker, you'll notice that it's comprised of a phylon material along with that gum bottom encapsulating the outsole as well. And also you'll notice that on the midsole of the sneaker, it has splatters of gray which I thought was a cool, unique design to the sneaker in general. Looking at the lacing system of this shoe, it's pretty cool in that it has a strap at the forefoot of the sneaker in addition to laces. One other surprise that you should be aware of is that it doesn't have a tongue separated from the sneaker. It's all knit together. So be very aware of that because it does give you a super snug fit, hence that's why I ended up purchasing a size 13 when it came to this sneaker. So in regards to size, I would say go a half size up. So another key thing that caught my eye when it came to purchasing this shoe was the price point, the retail price point of $110. In the near future, I'll probably just be playing basketball for fun and I'm glad I caught these sneakers because I'm not a super you know, basketball head in regards to playing. I love the sport of basketball and watching it but I don't really play that much but I will be playing in the near future and I picked these up just for that occasion and I feel like the price point of $110 was very fair. So Casa question of the day guys. What do you guys think of Paul George's signature shoe, his first signature shoe, and these pure platinum colorways in general? Hey guys, so my sneaker talk is up for today. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, please hit that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. But until next time, guys, I'll see you on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces.